up the rice in a church where the wedding has been lives in a dream waits at the window wearing a face that she keeps in a jar by the door who is it for all the lonely people where do they all come from all the lonely people where do they all belong Hi guys, this is how to play the classic Beatles song, Eleanor Rigby. Uh, this is part of my free beginners course, or one of the easy songs from my beginners course, available at andyguitar.co.uk, and there'll also be a link to the playlist in the description below of other songs that we've got around this level. This is the easiest song that I've found that includes a full proper C chord. So uh, a lot of people struggle with getting to and from this C chord, the changes within a song that use a C chord and this song basically has a C major and an E minor chord for the vast majority of it. You'll definitely want to click the link in the description to the chord sheet to help you out with this song um, but other than that it's pretty simple if you're working on your C chord this is perfect for you or if you want to learn a classic Beatles song uh, let's have a look at a close-up and let's get you in for a close-up right now. Eleanor Rigby, so the change we're wanting to really get here is the change between a C major and an E minor. Hopefully you've covered both of those two chords before. If not, um, this is how we want to play them. Your E minor, one and two, fingers one and two, second fret of strings four and five, like this. And then we have the C major chord, one, two, three like this. So when we change in between those two chords, the middle finger can actually stay down and we do have an anchor finger like if you've been doing my beginners course we had right back to you know changing between an E and an A chord only this time it's on the middle one. So if we can change between a C and an E minor without taking that middle finger off then that will be a real advantage for this song and any song that has a C in it. So there's an E minor and there's the C major. For the C major we definitely want to be on this angle where really all fingers are pointing towards or in my right shoulder, my strumming hand shoulder. Um, if everything's really straight then you may struggle with this C chord and if you do struggle with the chords in general you want to check out the video somewhere up here on in the description below which covers the basic open chords which includes E minor and C. Just a bit of a chords workout for you that video. So for this song it starts off on our C chord and that goes for two bars so I look at all the lonely and then to our E minor also for two bars. So that is Look at all the lonely minor, E minor again, and then that repeats twice. You might want to strum this just on the beat to begin with, so two, three, four. I look at all the lonely minor, one, two, three, four, C. Look at all the lonely For this section and the chorus, the strumming pattern that I was using in the demo and the one that McCartney plays this live on acoustic with is down, down, up, up, down. The most common strumming pattern ever. So that's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. For the C chord. If that throws off your timing too much at the beginning, just doing on the beat will be absolutely fine. And then for the verse, we have an E minor again. We stay on that E minor for three bars. Eleanor 
big beat makes up the rice in the church where the wedding has when we go to that C chord C lives in a dream back to E minor on the word dream it's a bit shorter than a, it's not a full bar on on the C it's uh, it goes to the E minor a little quicker so you need to feel the pulse and strum every one of them when the uh, strings are kind of I'm doing a full strum to replicate that and then muting with this hand so palm muting or palm dampening like this and we're trying to get silence here you want to make sure your hand goes down around the sound hole and then to a C lives in a dream and then we have that same thing again waits at the window wearing a face that she then go to see back to E minor so just the two strums or two beats on that last E minor as I say it's a bit longer than a, a bar of C there and there two of three sections the third section, All the Lonely People, kind of um, another chorus, as it, as it were, in this song, has some really cool jazz chords in it. So what do I mean by jazz chords? Don't freak out. It's still a pop song. It's a Beatles song, after all. But any time we have numbers at the end of a, uh, of a chord, it is technically a jazz chord. But every one of these is pretty simple to do. No bar chords, nothing, you know, nothing scary. Um, it's going to expand your knowledge if you've never covered a, a, a seventh chord before or anything. But we have these numbers at the end of chords. And basically this one note is going to be added to our E minor chord. And we're going to do it with our third finger. So we've got third fret, third finger second string on the B string just there and then you keep one two down for your E minor and if I just give us a demo this is gonna go down one fret at a time okay so I did have to change the fingering or alter the fingering of the E minor chord I changed the fingers from the first two to the middle two just because of logistics but essentially this one note goes down from third fret to second fret to first and then open over the chorus all the lonely people where do they all come from so the first two we can just add on this third finger to uh, the chord we're playing already, the E minor, one, two, third finger added, and then it goes to here, so that's chord number one, E minor seven, E minor six, move that in, and then we have a C slash E, so we have to change how our fingers are, play a normal C chord, but move the middle finger up one, and third finger down one, so that's essentially our E minor with our middle two fingers and our first finger is where it would be on a C chord. I hope you haven't all gone too cross-eyed at that much. I know this is a, a bit more technical than just, you know, a two chord pop song, but stick with it because the strumming's simple and once you've got the motion, we've got it. You know, that's, that's the trickiest change, I think. You've got your first finger down and then your first finger lifts off and there's just those two fingers down. So that last section, Chord number three, it's a C chord slash E, because we got an E minor in the bass and we're playing an E minor chord as well. So C slash E, and then our first finger lifts off, and there's our just a normal E minor chord, this time with your middle two fingers, a bit like a classic rock hand, yeah. So let's have a recap through that chorus. Definitely the trickiest chords, undoubtedly. Um, a bit more advanced than this level of the beginner's course, but physically easy to do. Let's give it a go. There's always going to be something happens in a song um, that's a bit trickier. So E minus seven, third fingers added on, just here. Third fret, third finger, B string. 
All the lonely, slide it in. And if you can slide it rather than lifting off, that's the best way to do it. And then we have to change. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We have to move your middle two fingers to that E minor. And then we've got your first finger where it would be on a C. Third chord, lift off that first finger. And there's our fourth chord. Let's run through them again, E minor seven. All the lonely E minor six. C slash E to a normal E minor. But we got just your middle two fingers down. One more time. Two, three, four. E minor seven, three, four. Slide your third finger in. Change the shape. End on E minor. Last time, just for good luck. One, two, three, four. All the lonely people, where do they all belong? And the song is going to go in a loop, um, depending on what lyrics are happening. So we have those three sections, the intro. Ah, look at all the lonely people. The verse. Alan Rigby picks up the rice in a church where the wedding has been. And then the chorus part with the jazz chorus. All the lonely people, where do they all come from? And then you have to check out the words by following the chord sheet, link to which is in the description below, exactly as I am here, so that you know um, which one of those sections is going to come next. As a heads up, if you've done a verse, Eleanor Rigby, Father Mackenzie, you know, that bit, you're always going to go into a chorus next. After that, you're always going to go, all the lonely people. That's always going to happen. And if you play, ah, look at all the lonely people, okay? Um, you're either going to go one, section one, section two, section three, or it's at the end. It's just, a, it's, it's one of those two things happen. You have to listen to the song, follow the chord sheet um, to know the different sections in the song, which in many ways I think it can be as difficult for people as, you know, learning where to put your fingers, how to change between chords. It's knowing what's coming up next. We've got these different sections, intro, verse, chorus, and you have to get used to navigating through them because we have those repetitions where the chorus will always come after the verse. The intro might crop up again at some point in the song. Um, but yes, other than that, not too complex. Let's have one last playthrough from the top, I think, for this one. Let's have a playthrough together and I will uh, talk you through it as we go. So you want to either watch me or check out the chord sequence. I don't mind which, really. From the C chord and I'm going to just strum on the B like this, just to, just to get you guys used to it. So from the C chord, start of the song, whole thing in one, two, Three, four, C. Look at all the lonely E minor. Change back into three, four, C. Look at all the lonely E minor. We're on a verse now, so we're going to do that muting. Eleanor Rigby picks up the rice in a church where we go to a C. Back to E minor, waits at the window, wearing the face that she keeps, and change to a C chord, C, two, three, four, back to E minor, chorus, E minor seven, third finger goes down, two, three, four, all the lonely E minor six, C slash E, E minor, two, three, four, all the lonely people First finger And normally minor Into a verse then, so we're back to Father Mackenzie Writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear Look at those near Look at him working E minor, E minor, E minor, then to a C. Back to E minor, and then of course we've had a verse, so we're always going to go to a chorus. 
E minor seven, third finger goes down. All the lonely people, where do they all come from? E minor seven, third finger, E minor six. Swap it for the C slash E and E minor. And we'll leave it there. For further repetitions, you'll need to refer to that chord sheet and uh, the song itself and live versions by Paul McCartney. But uh, yeah, that is how to play Eleanor Rigby. So that's how to play Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. Classic song. Uh, make sure that you check out the other songs at this level on the website. The link in the, is in the description below. And uh, be sure to get your free ebook. Uh, that is basically your roadmap through all of this beginners course that I've put um, online for you guys. 80 pages including chords, strumming patterns, song suggestions, practice routines, help with chord changes, absolutely everything that a beginner needs to get you through these what can be tricky early stages. And uh, I'll hope to see you again in one of the other videos on my channel. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.